What if I told you that you can get a decent laptop for 150 bucks? Well, that's exactly what you will get if you pick up the new Chromebook from Hisense. So this is the Hisense Chromebook and it packs a quad-core processor with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of hard drive space, which when compared to a flagship smartphone, kind of seems disappointing. The Chromebook is mostly made out of plastic with a woven texture finish on its cover, however the trackpad and armrest is made out of aluminum. It's very thin and lightweight as well, weighing about 2.3 pounds. I did notice that the laptop is a fingerprint magnet and just by simply touching it, you can see smudges on it. On the back of the laptop is where the speakers are located which sound decent and there are also four rubber pads to keep it from sliding while typing. The Hisense Chromebook has an 11.6 inch LED display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 although you can increase the resolution to 1536 by 864 However, the scaling makes the font distorted and blurry which is why they recommend you to stick with the default. Also on the top is the 720p front-facing camera and microphone, which is sadly more than the new MacBooks. On the left side, you will find a charging port, a USB 2.0 and HDMI. And on the other side is the headphone slash microphone port, another USB 2.0 and a micro SD card reader. Hisense also promises up to 8.5 hours of battery life, which is really good. Now because this is a Chromebook, it is heavily dependent on internet connection. Chromebooks are basically used for browsing the internet, typing up Word documents, and even light gaming. The Hisense is running the latest software of Chrome OS, and we are beginning to see more and more apps being able to run offline, which is a good thing. Watching videos in 1080p is smooth, there is no lag or stutter whatsoever, but you have to make sure you are looking directly at the center of the screen because the viewing angles are pretty bad. The more you turn or tilt the display, the more visual distortion there is. Now if you try watching 4K video, that's where you run into problems. There just isn't enough processing power for 4K streaming, which is why the laptop stutters and lags a lot. For basic games that are available through the web store, the Chromebook handles it pretty well with no lag. The more graphic intensive it is, the more you start to see stutter and lag. The Hisense also features a full keyboard, minus the 10 key, and the keys are very responsive, however it does feel kind of spongy at times when you're typing. For 150 bucks, this Chromebook is a pretty damn good deal. If all you need is a laptop for typing up Word documents and accessing the internet, then this is honestly the best option for you, especially if you're on a budget. I will leave a link to this and one other affordable Chromebook in the description section if you guys want to check it out. But anyways, that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you didn't, feel free to dislike. And let me know by leaving a comment if this is something you would drop 150 bucks on. Anyways, this is Ed from TechSource. I will see you guys in the next video.